Hey guys, it's Miss Lauren. I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys a little bit about um, a site. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sorry about a site um that i used and that is going to be what today's video is about the site that i want to talk to you about is borrowing magnolia so some of you brides out there if you've seen the cost of these wedding gowns that i am sure you already know about borrowing borrowing magnolia and if you don't that's why i'm here to talk to you about it um so i'm having a destination wedding and i really oopsie okay sorry i'm having a destination wedding and um even if i'm not having a destination wedding as you can tell from your wedding planning weddings are just very very costly so we're trying to keep costs down um at all costs <laughs> so that we can splurge on things that we want to splurge on and cut back on the things that we want to cut back on one of those things i don't mind cutting back on is my wedding dress in a sense now, I want my dress to be beautiful. I want it to be everything that I want it. I don't want it to be, you know, like cheap looking or anything like that. But I'm not for spending thousands of dollars on a gown that you're just going to wear for a few hours. And me, because I am having a destination wedding, I want to um, wear a wedding gown and then maybe change into something, maybe another dress, but maybe something that's not, that's, um, you know, not that heavy, just because, you know, it's just going to be so hot. Our reception is in a ballroom, so it will be in air conditioning, but um, yeah, I'm just not so crazy about wearing the dress um, the whole time, maybe for like three quarters of my wedding and then I'll change into something else. So yeah, that, that made me start looking for um, inexpensive designers. You know, I'm doing a Google search for just different things. Um, inexpensive wedding designers, just ways where I could cut cut, uh, cut the cost on my wedding gown. Because I think, and I think we are all guilty of this, the wedding gowns that we tend to draw more to are the ones that cost thousands of dollars. And um, I just I just can't stop thinking about like my senior prom. You know, you took like six months. I know I started working on my senior prom or planning for my senior prom in January. And then you plan all that time to wear a gown which is the most important thing that you could have done to wear the gown for just a few hours and then if you had an after prom like my school did i didn't even wear it i probably wore it for two hours and then i changed into something more relaxing for the after party so it's really um it just doesn't sit well with me to pay that amount of money for a gown for something that even if you wear it for four hours it's just a total waste of money you say that you're going to keep it for your for your daughter and stuff like that your daughter's not going to want to wear your wedding dress years and decades later so um during my google search i ran into this website it's called borrowing magnolia they are a company that is based in atlanta and the purpose of this company is to provide affordable wedding gowns for brides and how they do that is by renting and um uh, selling bridal gowns to brides so if you go onto their website you'll see that some gowns are for purchase and some gowns are for rent so if you decide to rent your gown um, then they'll take the gown off of their website and they will hold that gown for you and they'll ship it back to you um, two weeks before your wedding date and if you like the gown and you want to buy it then you just keep it at home with you so the really good thing about borrowing Meg Magnolia is they actually let you try on the wedding dresses at home that I think that is the most convenient thing ever is a really innovative really unique company um, I really really just liked everything about it so how it works is you go and you um, you kind of shop online the first dress that you want to try on in your home is $40 and any other dress after that is just $29 so it's really really inexpensive so I wouldn't say to go and try on everything because you don't want to be paying for um, for gowns just to try them on and just wasting your money. So I only um, uh, ordered this one gown and it's a YSA Makino gown. I'm going to show you guys clips of when I tried it on as well. It's a YSA Makino gown and the only reason I decided to try this on is because one, I could not find the gown anywhere so i couldn't even determine where it was being sold or what boutique sold it for me to try on anywhere else and then um also i really thought that this 
this gown could be my dress. Like I had been obsessing over this gown since we got engaged and I knew I wouldn't be able to get it out of my system if I hadn't tried it on. And I'm going wedding dress shopping pretty soon. So I wanted to try this on and kind of get this dress out of my system if it wasn't going to be the one that I was going to wear on my wedding day. So yeah, I ordered the YSA Makino gown. It's $40 flat. There are no taxes. The shipping is already is already included in the $40 so you don't have to worry about paying any extra money <gasps> sorry you don't have to worry about paying any extra money and this particular dress was for purchase so um, the purchase price was $1,800 and the rental price was a thousand but this dress in, in general was just really expensive just even the retail price but there are other dresses on there that are much much more um, inexpensive and there could be a greater gap in the difference of the buying and the renting of the gowns some of the gowns I see on there for purchase for maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred and to rent it it's only six hundred so don't let my thousand dollar dress kind of discourage you um, from going on there because there are so many other gowns on there that are six hundred dollars and below just to rent so um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I really do love the convenience where you can have the gown shipped to your home. Just make sure you have a lot of space to try on the dress and to really see if you like it. Um, this particular dress is not my dress. So I will show you guys clips later on after I get the gown on so that you can see what it looks like. And maybe you might realize that this is your dress. You know, you might really, really like it. So yeah, I just thought I should give you guys um, that tip. Borrowing Magnolia is really, really nice. They upload gowns all the time and these gowns can be never before worn like a bride could have just changed her mind or they could have been worn and cleaned once after someone's wedding I mean how many times do you really actually wear a wedding gown so yeah they, they might have been only worn one time and if it's brand new they'll tell you that it was never worn you have custom dresses on there designer dresses on there dresses from David's bridal and it's just so many different designers and they upload new gowns every single day so if you go today on the website today and you don't um you don't like any of the gowns that they um, sell, you can always go back onto the website um, just a couple days later or a week later to see if they have anything new. I think I actually haven't been on there in a while, so I think I'm going to go on there and check it out myself. But yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering and I'm going to get into this clip to show you guys um, my try on and just like the unboxing and everything of this YSA Makino gown. So I'll talk to you guys in my next Bridezilla vlog. Bye is the box <laughs> so let me see how to open this got my handy dandy knife here oh, oh and then you cut I'm so excited I hope this dress is everything that I want it to be and more. Ah. What is this? What is this? Ah. Oh, so they gave me my return label because they do include the shipping in your, um, sorry, they do include the shipping in your, um, in the pricing. So you get free expedited shipping. Mine came in two days. I ordered this on Wednesday and it's here on Friday. So, um, I think it came like two days shipping and then they gave me the return receipt to send it back. So these are all just like instructions on how to unpack the gown borrowing or buying a gown with you know things to do after you decide if you want the gown or not and then what is this oh then this is just my receipt oh my gosh y'all i oh my gosh this thing is huge and heavy Let me put this box up so you want to save the box because you got to send it back Alright, so it came in this huge 
garment bag. I can't. Huge garment bag. And it says that they, um, they don't include hangers because they don't want to puncture the gown just in case, you know, they don't want to chance any of that. Let me fix my lighting. So they don't want to puncture the gown. Oh my gosh. And then I'm just undoing it. <laughs> so even if I do think that this is my dress, I'm still going, oh my gosh. I'm still going to go dress shopping because I feel like you should always have that experience. So you can see it a little bit. I'm just going to show you a little bit. Oh, this detail is so beautiful. Do you see? Do you see? Okay. So I'm going to take it out. All right. I might have to. I'll just edit these parts out. Oh, this dress is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's literally everything that I imagined it would be. Oh my gosh. They have. I'm just gonna show you a little bit. <laughs> it has the most beautiful detail. Look at that, like these gems. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready to try this on. I'm about to try it on, guys. Talk to you later. I'm like looking for my phone and I forgot I'm recording. So, um, I love the dress. Um, I haven't tried it on just yet. Mind you, I have a pimple. Look at that. Out of control. But yeah, I haven't tried it on just yet. But the good thing is, um, they're very like personable there. It's a very small business. And well, I don't want to say small because it is a big business. It's not small by any means, but um they're like a intimate businesses, I guess, as far as their staff is concerned. So I've been um contacted, I've been communicating back and forth. Guys, I can't even talk right because I'm so excited to try on this gown, but um I've been communicating back and forth with their lead stylist, Maggie, and she actually texted me. And when I got the dress, um, the back can be like bustled. So I want to um, figure out how to do that or see if she can kind of guide me on how to do that via text message. So I'm going to text her real quick. So, yeah.